Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Saving the Disaster campaign that is known as a Dark Event Massacre. We've amassed 20 um, standing Dark Events and uh, the author of this file uh, also thought uh, that they wanted to try out uh, a better advent, a better campaign and a couple of other a better mods, uh, resulting in quite a slaughter in the end game. We've almost stabilized it. The Warlock is uh, still uh, good to go, but here we do have a chance of finally getting an upgrade for our weapons. We're going to take uh, those uh, soldiers with us that still need experience. So a couple of the Majors are with us, Sergeants, Captains. Got the classical four in the middle, then another um, Skirmisher and another Grenadier. Overall should be good. I think we have a fair, uh, fair team. That should be more than capable of handling the situation. So let's jump into it and see how well we can do. And we just landed. Good. The moment that we're triggering the first pack, the timer will start. So gotta be gotta move with care here. And use the few hidden units to actually scout ahead. Gotta bit of high ground over there. On the move. All right, Sirkim is uh, a phantom as well, so might as well move him in that direction. And we got a double agent. Look at that. Um, are these all of the nice buffs? Close combat specialist, uh, that's great. It's kind of a reaction shot. Uh, that is lightning reflexes, and that's even more close combat specialist. Cool, I like it. Knockout uh, moves over here. Copy that. Animal takes the middle position, and the who can pull himself up the rooftop if needed. See, double agent immediately worked out, and look who just joined us. Okay, I haven't fought against him yet. He can definitely see all of the units. Uh, so much for our concealment. Immune to explosions. Where missed shots will generate shielding, and he regains lost health. Uh, that plus the immunity. That's a nasty combination, but he's bewilderable and or bewilderable, and skirmishers are causing a problem to him. Luckily for us, we got a skirmisher with us. So this could be a bit of a test run uh, for actually getting him down in his in his stronghold. Well. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. Quite soon these guys here are going to trigger. Given where we're at, might as well just use the option here. To hit him and start off uh, that combat. We got Bladestorm as another option, but we can't really get all the way there. Oh, that's a prime. I see. I see how it is. Uh, did we have our flashbang, smoke, plasma? Okay. That's not what we were looking for. I was looking for the frost bomb. Yeah, I think we're just going to start with the Guardian. That's a solid starter. Archon will move towards us as well. And it's good that we haven't engaged because there was just another uh, pack around the corner. Archon Prime. Uh, 
I would say it's prime time. Here we go. Moving up. And let's frost bomb him and start getting it down. Unfortunately, every shredder that we had has just gone out of the window. However, I think Knockout was the one with a better uh, chance to hit. Good. Let's try hitting this guy. Okay, so much for the shredding. Didn't work out just as I was expecting. Instead, we now need to slowly but surely crawl our way through his defenses. We don't want to pull ourselves towards him. That would be a mistake. This here should not trigger. As always, famous last words, right? Got a mimic beacon, so it's okay. Prime takes some more damage. Elite Striker moves in. Let's give the Prime a good run for his money. Nice little poisoning. And if they move too close, they will eventually uh, they will eventually get shot. Move all the way to here. Alternatively, like move all the way over here, block the entrance. So, or alternatively, move all the way over here into a into a bladestorm attack or build position. Run and, gun. Run and gun it is. I like this. Good animal here could be our mimic beacon. We got threat assessment, so who should take that threat assessment? I guess animal is not a bad option to be honest. Reliable could be another one. But I think we're going to go with animal. And then in times of hitting, let's soften up the Archon a bit more. That would be a kill. Do we have Implacable? Yes, we do. Let's just kill the prime like we intended to. Mimic beacon. Uh, let's move him over here. That way, if uh, they want to attack him in melee, they will even get some extra damage. I'm not going to move uh, further. There is the close combat specialist. Ah, oh, didn't hit. Too bad. Close combat specialist. Okay, that was uh, that was good. I like the combination. I like 
the skill, Close Combat Specialist is busted. It's incredibly good. We're going to potentially take damage over here. However, Blade Storm and an Overwatch shot, right? Blade Storm killed him. The zombie shouldn't be able to act immediately. Okay, so that went as well as it could have. If they are moving up to us, Close Combat Specialist and Blade Storm should take a couple of hits. Fantastic. That's a nice little counter against the Chosen. I like it. The ability is already paying off quite well. But we're out of ammunition now, it seems. Okay, interesting. So, as I was saying, moving all the way over here, and we got to reload. That's still good for the close combat specialist uh, thing. Now, in terms of just getting these guys down, in fact, the zombie wouldn't die with one shot. Question is, though, can we change that? 0% chance to crit. Hmm. Okay, what we... Hmm. Let's just start hitting these guys a bit. All right, setting him up. And this here would be some extra damage, right? Yeah, it should hit all of uh, them, almost all of them. And the explosion here would further propel kind of that explosion cycle there we go okay that worked uh, well surprisingly well If we would have Re uh, if we would have Reaper, now would be the perfect time for it. Moving. Blocking that entrance up here. Side zombie will eventually die. Let's set up this guy. Okay. Apparently not. Starting to deal some more damage. And getting him down eventually. Honestly, I think we'll need another grenade here. A 
hate to be so wasteful with the resources, but I mean, this grenade is killing five in one go. Can't really argue with the efficiency of that. Done. Okay, cool. The loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me as it is to you. Taking high ground. I'm on it. Animal takes a move and an overwatch. And with close combat shot plus the overwatch, we should be able to kill that guy. Oh yeah, we forgot about the Spectre. How could I have forgotten about him? Okay, cool. Gotta engage the Warlock soon, because that Distress Beacon will become a problem. Okay, so we know that the specter must be somewhere here. Unfortunately, we haven't really hit it uh, hard enough. <coughs> so, what's the plan, Sherlock? We gotta move forward and we gotta move fast, so that's why I'm almost rushing in. Because we gotta cover a lot of ground. So almost down. One more turn and we really need to engage uh, this guy because elsewise the timer will not stop and I have definitely underestimated the distance. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Good, in terms of just moving over this here is moving our front line. Advent forces sighted. I was hoping we would uh, see the warlock. He has not yet shown up. I think the ultimate question is how fast can we get there? Tactical movement. We could get in range, but without any support, that would be not advisable, uh, not advisable at all. Okay, so let's start with flashbangs. I think the flashbangs in this version also benefit from volatile, uh, from, yeah, from volatile mix. So, interestingly enough, they deal a little bit of damage. I think we're going to miss it unless the warlock uh, shows up or we find him elsewhere. Else. 
That is highly unfortunate. Is there a line of sight? No, there is not, unless we're unless we're literally creating one, but even then, we're super far away. I don't think that that is going to work out. really don't think that it's going to work out. Damn it! He's the only one who would be in range. And the question is, do we want to push on in order to find the Warlock? Or do we want to call it quits? It's difficult to even position correctly against these guys. Good. I'm accepting that we're potentially not going to win this mission. Unless we're finding the enemy. The Warlock in particular. This could maybe spot him out if he's standing on the right hand side. Answer is he's not. Alright, Mimic Beacon. And I believe the only other topic which is left to do is... Is he going to stand back here? No. Not really. Well, he could jump up. From time to time the Warlock does that. really see how we're how we're getting out of that ah, that's lamentable I was hoping we would be able to do this mission The only chance now is that the Warlock will actually show up and... No, he won't. 
If we would have engaged with him, that would be good. But we have not. So, funnily enough, the difficulty was not killing everyone. The difficulty was actually doing it uh, well in time. Okay, can we get the consolation prize? Or is this does just mean we're Menace one five. We've got confirmation of multiple inbound transports. Looks like they've locked on to the distress beacon. Neutralize all hostile reinforcements to secure the site. Okay, well it just means we're getting reinforcements apparently. Maybe they have changed that. I was almost under the impression that we would have lost. But apparently not. Late storming into these guys would be great. So, a couple of things. Number one, let's reload. Number two, let's get rid of the zombies, shall we? Moving closer over here. Let's rock. Wait, wait, wait. So we are moving over here, half cover, far enough away from the explosion. And I think, as before, we gotta use plasma grenades in order to just deal enough damage overall. That is 18 points of damage with a single attack. Thanks to Volatile Mix. Now. that the right one? That's a good question. Well, the weapon reach here is closer, so that must be the right one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Could jump down, but that would risk uh, triggering more. Okay, so. What's the plan? So I can watch the plan. I could reload slash him. If I was to slash him, like we're talking about what? 9 to 11? That's 2, 6, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. That's a 66% chance of being successful. Implacable would allow us to sort of get back over down here. We do have threat assessment, right? No guardian. No, we don't have threat assessment. And that's the problem. I was wondering why we wouldn't get that, those extra...
those extra reaction shots. to go over hit him nicely that's like what two four six eight ten plus armor how much is a shotgun shot mm -hmm. okay let's try this However, there might be someone in here. Mm, it's not an optimal situation. This guy here is a problem. However, he would potentially just hit our double agent. Locked and loaded. Reloaded. And... We don't have a great way of 100% killing him. That's unfortunately not going to work out. We can hit and kill the spectral zombie, which we potentially should do. Alternatively, Overwatch, uh, because we do have Guardian, and that might not be the worst idea. You know what? I'll just Overwatch, and this guy, close combat plus our Overwatch, should kill it. And over here, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, we're standing next to him and Bladestorm would kill him. Enemy down. Good, we got run gun. I'll just move into full cover. Overwatch here with Zirkim and Overwatch here. Like I said, not the perfect turn, but okay for now. In a perfect scenario, we would have waited here with Bladestorm and would have just massacred them. Unfortunately, this is not a perfect scenario. And there goes our Guardian. Could have been a lot of Overwatch shots. None of uh, them have triggered. Oh, wow. Awesome. Quite sizable hit. And another miss. Okay, the plan was good. The execution was lackluster at best. That burning here, we gotta deal with it soon. Alright, Gremlin heal onto Ice Pick. Okay, so we got a few of uh, those guys in our back, which is exactly where we typically don't want them. Let's start. Um, to slowly but surely grind them down. Just this pull. Ah, 
How about... Yeah, we gotta shred this guy first. Good to, go. to make anything meaningful. Nope, Spectre the Zombie will die a separate death. Trying to hit the Titan here. Okay. Slightly shredded, I would uh, say. Okay, that works out as I would have guessed it would. Which frees up. Uh, Our good friend over here. I hate standing in the open, but for now it works. All right, so plasma grenade to all of these. nine that's a hundred percent hit which I like much more moving him over there we go that's good And let's pull them together. Nice little setup for Blade Storm. Good. We got a Mimic Beacon. I might respect that. We're slowly but surely regaining our ammunition here. Four, eight, it's a minimum nine points of damage, 100% hit. There we go, done. And that triggers implac uh, implacable. Good Hell out. We're now standing pretty much in the open and we don't want that to happen. Titan would be dead uh, with the blade storm, and we're using our last mimic beacon. I think new zombies will appear either this round or the next one. There is the retribution and the stun that I was hoping for. appears as if I wouldn't have needed the Mimic Beacon. Seven percent, yeah, that's not going to work. Let's try hitting the officer. Just not our day today. Very soon, more zombies will come. Good. Target neutralized. Well, good news. Heading there now. 
we have a united front line again. Not so good news. Zombies will be coming soon. Moving into a better position. Let's just kill the, uh, the remaining zombies. No a oh, yeah. Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Watch order and it's actually double movement over here. We're going to reload next turn. It's at least one shot in close quarters. So zombies are coming in. Destroy all who would defy the elders. They are mine. Come on, move to the guys with the blade storm, please. That's a hit. Okay. Let's saw him got him down. Good. Guardian, hopefully. No longer a threat. Nope, Guardian does not trigger. We got two blade storms here though. Well, it could have been worse. Could have been better, of course, but it certainly could have been worse. Moving over. And, of course, we are running into Advent. Moving over here. Pulling ourselves out of range. Uh, we're not in the position to actually flank someone. But we could hit them with um, a slashing weapon. So question of the day is... How about this one here? Plasma grenade to open everything up a bit. I think that might be the last uh, pack. But I might be wrong as well. Ooh, I see how it is. Can't really hit them now. We're moving over here. Moving out. That's a solid position in itself. Got the chance to kill that Titan. Good. Few things. Whiplash onto the zombie. Okay. Looked like a charm. Let's try to kill this guy. Nope. That, is not good. that did not work at all. Let's 
explosion damaged uh, the other one. Very good. Okay. On your order. Okay, good. So we got two actions up here. I do have an idea of how we might be able to actually kill all of uh, them. 9 to 12, so we're looking at 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Uh, relatively high chance of actually killing. Of course, we would need to hit in order to Come do on, that. Focus. Burn the ammo fast. My, power is yours. my original suggestion, or my original plan, to actually use the titan kill here as a means to move up and and threaten that uh, snake unfortunately did not materialize could have killed the prime Okay, we're just going into full cover. Pull into Blade Storm. It's burning. Damn it, find some cover. It's burning. It will eventually burn to death. It's killing time. It will eventually burn to death, which is just what we wanted. Moving to position. Moving into full cover. Let's get into position. Hope it's worth it. I think the sniper can also start moving up. That way we're not ending up with um, the sniper being completely alone and four zombies all of a sudden. Just come around the corner and say, hey, what's up? I'm ready. Slowly reloading the shotgun now. Okay, so far so good. The Viper finally died. And Warlock can't see us anymore. Okay, that won't prevent him from summoning and continuing to summon. But for now we're okay. Okay, so that deactivation thing is no longer relevant for us. I am not sure if we if we will win the mission. But anyways, it makes for great entertainment. It's a good fight that we've put up. just going to get inside and fight from there Overwatch 
Hunker down. Overwatch. Overwatch. And hunker down. Got one more round until he will summon uh, more zombies. But eventually he has just decided to come in. That's fine for me as well. I think we got one last grenade, don't we? No, no more cover removal. That's unfortunate. He will definitely try to mind control. I'm coming for you. Luckily, we got a mind shield. So many of the <laughs> and he immediately triggered Blade Storm. Interesting. Um, let's conceal for good measure so he does know we're here but we're actually not here and we're just going to overwatch uh, then there now. moving into cover and let's give us that extra bonus cover here uh, defense I'm most concerned about the mind control, to be honest. I fear no trifling eruption. It deals a bit of damage. So let's full reload. But it does not shred. All right, eight protocol, and we're overwatching. Can't really get to him this turn, which is super frustrating. If I was to decide to grapple somewhere, we can only grapple like literally through the wall here. That's not good. Instead, let's move in. Grab up here. And move up here. We can drop down next turn. Overwatch. And we're overwatching. And another overwatch. Okay, he's poisoned and he's burning. So that's a lot of damage. The summonings immediately trigger a close combat. And then they trigger the overwatches that we've prepared for them. Guardian is still up. Got it. Sneaky loot through the wall. So Guardian, that was all you did? Well, I mean, okay, I suppose.
If we were to slash him. Okay, now. Never mind. Yeah, we're being spotted out, that's no surprise. But we're now flanking him, which is what I wanted to begin with. And if my memory serves me well, he was super afraid of skirmishers. Guess what? We got a flanking skirmisher right here. There we go, nice. The Wild Ring shots will help us. The Wild Ring shots will help us uh, to now deal some extra damage. Yes, a lot of armor, and unfortunately, we can't really uh, get rid of it. But you can see we're dealing a lot of damage. Moving all the way up here to flank him. I know that someone is going to get mind controlled. But my idea is... If everybody is close to him. We'll be able to overpower him. Overwatch and reload Overwatch for Animal. Okay, well, that triggers feedback, buddy. Not a good idea. I mean... Normally, this guy is an absolute badass. No idea why he decides this time to take it easy on us. But we're marking him. Alright, a bit of kinetic plating. Hail of bullets. Somehow he has a shredder reduction. He's taking very little damage from the actual shots. Oh, that was the kinetic plating potentially. good 15 points of damage as a as a starter and that should be a kill okay we we'll get some ability points off of it and i'm not sure if we will get anything else if that's a mission success or a failure typically it's a failure but i don't know if a better campaign has changed that at all We showed the chosen that the resistance is here to Oh wow, okay, cool. We even succeeded. Well, who would have thought? Good job. I suppose good job. What an interesting UFO mission. I like it. That that really felt uh, good and we even got a promotion out of it. Yeah, untouchable, definitely. Cool. So we got supplies. Lots of Hilarium, some cores. 12 heavy weapon fragments. That should be enough, almost. 14 tech fragments. And some more light weapon fragments. Okay, cool. Well, let's take a look. Can Just we upgrade weapons? First of all, there's the Rage Suit. We want to do that. But equally, heavy beam weapons. Look at that. 
50 heavy weapon fragments which we finally got ourselves and it's a pretty substantial upgrade plus the spark gets their upgrade as well wow super good rage suit will need to wait until we get more supplies but that will happen soon-ish i think ah, more or less okay cool well those two upgrades immediately help us and I, if my memory serves me well we wanted to invade the stronghold slightly wounded soldiers can be put into combat so we're going to like go directly into the stronghold the last mission was pretty good with the exception of uh, ice pick who took yet another beating everybody else uh, mm, did not flinch so might as well just go and fight the warlock now after we know uh, his weakness i am seriously considering instead of a psi operative to take a skirmisher with us because he was so susceptible to uh, the skirmisher overall in terms of soldier abilities i like this skirmisher here he has that extra tactical rigging which really helps us yeah he that, that's a well-developed skirmisher compared over here i mean we got lightning reflex this isn't bad either return fire mm, so and so he does have manual override which is cool i appreciate it specifically in combination with combat presence uh, that can help but we really didn't need it that often so far we have been fine that extra ammunition slot however is um is good so maybe we'll just put the woo uh, with us it also gives him a chance to become colonel we definitely want to take hype with us and then um four strong other characters yeah i think we're we're good um when it comes to just training center we had a few things that we wanted to do run and gun here would be helpful and i'm just thinking what would be the most helpful so run and gun here was one of the things that we wanted to do the other one was uh, serial in order to let her run with a sniper rifle i think and capacity the discharger actually is also quite good oh, not having it uh, stings so what 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 sort of class is that he has 50 uh, 54 ap on top of it including rapid fire which is awesome zone in which is also quite good but why would he have all of that class here look so unbelievably broken like it's a specialist tree slapped onto what seems to be kind of an infantry tree okay a wide shot that uh, is more accurate than a standard shot larger spread and deals reduced damage okay this guy here looks like a good version of a sniper i mean no uh, squad side penalties passive uh, okay that's almost a no-brainer I mean, we could run this guy here with a sniper rifle. We got 14 more points. When you miss a shot, you get 20 aim on your next uh, attack. That is good.
immobilization of target is good as well. That would help against primes, specifically the ones that are rushing towards you. Yeah, lots of interesting abilities, but I, I'm not sure if that's a good character design. I haven't played it. It certainly feels like a hodgepodge of a campaign with uh, those extra abilities here and there. Okay, what I wanted to do though is we wanted Ranger Knuckles, Run and Gun, 12 points from, from the pool. Yes, very much so, yes. Capacitator Discharge would be the next one that we're buying. Fake Hogbite could use another few points as well. Amplify, for instance, is a, is a pretty good uh, one. Uh, Ionic Storm uh, proved to be quite good with hog, uh, with a real Hogbite as well. And since we're likely going to take a Grenadier into the last mission, we got to get Salvo going for us, guys, because that whole situation with not being able to hit that stinks covering fire isn't bad either death from above would be fantastic kill zone is okay um chain shot might be helpful but we're already being able to shoot twice so that's fine i think what we need is action economy salvo is good and maybe a good colonel uh colonel ability but yeah we gotta um, we got to further train knockout because we don't have a better grenadier at the moment and I want to take grenadier into the last mission uh, the shredding of uh, the gun is just too good uh, so good that's enough lamenting about where we currently are our next stop the warlock or rather his face as we're going to beat it up thank you for watching guys if you enjoy the content leave a comment and a like down below that would mean a lot uh, for me and it helps the channel. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye bye.